Okay, number two. If x squared plus k equal to k x minus three has two real and this different roots, find the range. Okay, so you can find this uh, the whole equation in the textbook. Okay, separately two point five number two. What happen if this has two real and this different root? So make it into general form. X squared plus uh, and rearrange, arrange x squared and then k uh, then x. So in the case, this case is minus k x plus k plus three equals to zero. Two real and distinct roots means b squared minus four ac larger than zero. Okay, two real and distinct root, uh, and different root. Okay, so b will be negative k squared minus four ac. Equal zero, so here become k squared minus negative four times one times k like this minus four k then negative four times one times three minus twelve equal zero. So I believe you can find uh, the root using factorization. Uh, so the root will be. A will be one. Uh, so this is quadratic equation in term of k. Okay, this is quadratic equation in term of x. Okay, so b is negative four, c is negative twelve. So the first value is six, second value is negative two. So write down the value negative six and negative two. Oh, this is not negative. Right, so the factorization will be k minus six, k plus two. Okay, just change the symbol. So what if this equation has two real and equal roots? Okay, mistake. This is actually the answer for this. Two real and equal roots is for this one, right? Okay, so for this one, this squared minus four ac, uh, we get that something like this, but it become k squared minus four minus four k minus twelve, so larger than zero. Okay, so this part should go above. Okay. So this is quadratic inequalities you have learned in two point three. So how to solve that? First, find the root. Okay, we got the root already. So roots are the intersection with the x-axis. So what are the roots? Negative two and six. So for quadratic equation is either inside or outside. Okay. Um. So is this one? Up inside or outside? Outside, because larger would be outside. Um, since you ask, let's say te test one of the value zero here. Okay. So just replace k as zero. So zero squared zero minus four times zero is zero. So you get negative twelve. Negative twelve. Is it larger than zero? No. Okay. So, what happened if you replace one of the seven, seven squared, you get forty nine, forty nine minus twenty eight minus twelve. Uh, forty nine minus twenty eight, you get twenty one minus twelve, you get nine. So, is it larger than zero? Yes. Okay. So, the value here would be. Outside, outside means less than negative two, so we say k less than negative two, or k larger than six. Okay, so this part goes up, this part goes down. 